Hey what's up guys and it's time to finally take a look at the Android 11 based One UI 3.0. This update right now is only open for developers, it's the beta 1 and it's only present in selective countries like South Korea and USA where we have the Snapdragon models. So if you're rocking the Exodus model you cannot install this update but if you have a Qualcomm model, a spare S20 phone that you want to try it out, I will leave the link in the description. Again, install only if you have a spare device because this is a developer beta 1. Now even though this is a developer beta 1, it still shows off about 85% of Samsung's vision of what features that they're going to bring with the One UI 3.0. Now full credit goes to the developers over the XDA forums. They were able to install this and post all the features and screenshots. So if you actually want to take a full deep dive of the review, you can check the link in the description. First up, starting with the lock screen, you can see Samsung has done some change to the clock. Now it's appearing towards the middle. You can also see the calendar information down below this in a more of a cleaner way. Now taking a look at the home screen, you can see that we can't really tell a difference between uh, the One UI 3.0 and the One UI 2.5. The first major visual change comes in the form of the notification panel. Previously, when you bring out the notification panel down, you can see it kind of turns everything dark and it does the same thing when you switch to the multitasking tray but now with the new One UI 3.5 it actually blurs the background so if you bring down the notification panel all the way down you can see this new blurred look it's kind of highlighting the wallpaper a little bit as well once again Samsung has done the change to the clock and calendar information you can see the time is appearing in the middle and then the calendar information down below it a little bit of change to the icons as well overall just more of a cleaner and something new visually with the One UI 3.0 that I'm sure uh, most people will love. Now as you guys know the whole point of having the One UI is to have the comfortable experience with the large screens and uh, for the most part Samsung has done a great job implementing and optimizing everything but one key area where Samsung didn't really think that much is when you're actually playing with the volume keys. If I press the volume button you can see the volume controls are all the way on the top and they should have been somewhere on the side so Samsung is finally bringing that change with the One UI 3.0 now this is how the new volume rocker will appear on the side when you press it so now it is much more closer to your thumb and you can pretty much play with it comfortably this is very similar to how things appear on the pure Android 11.0 uh, update on my Pixel 4 XL so you can further expand the media controls as you can see you can control the ringtone your media uh, the voice for the Bixby, all that stuff is there. Now you're getting some new Android 11 Google features such as the uh, new media player look in the quick setting area. If you're having a conversation with someone, you have this separate conversation tab, further making the Android notification system a lot more refined. Android 11 also brings chat bubbles so you can easily have the conversation while doing other things on the phone. Just like the notification panel, Samsung has done this blur thing with the multitasking tray as well. So instead of this shadow, uh, this is also getting blurred and the close all key is having a bit of a different uh, graphical look to it. Now if you want to turn off the chat bubbles, uh, you do have this option called as floating icons. With the One UI 3.0, we get the brand new Samsung Internet 13.0 browser. This browser has some nice features such as it allows you to lock a certain bookmark. Other than that, there is a bit of a UI change. Now as always, we have some improvement to the actual home screen launcher. So uh, previously, if you actually hold on an icon you don't really get the option to access the widgets but now uh, if you hold on to an icon you have a separate option to toggle the widgets directly uh, from this shortcut so now you don't have to hold the screen and go to the widget option uh, separately and select the widget you can do this individually with whatever app you choose and it looks pretty good. Also, we have a OG feature coming to Samsung devices and that is double tap to sleep. I'm sure a lot of people know what this means, but in case you don't know, you can pretty much double tap the screen to put your phone to sleep without using any power button. Now, Android 11 brings a brand new power menu system. So if I quickly show you guys here, if I hold down the power button on my Pixel 4, you can see I have the ability to uh, basically restart power off or go to emergency. But if I have my smart devices connected, all 
all of that will appear here and unfortunately Samsung has not implemented anything at least with the beta one so hopefully uh, they're gonna do something like this uh, with the upcoming future updates now as always every stock application is getting a UI redesign so if you want to see every application screenshot individually uh, do check out the XDA link you actually do have to update some of these apps separately in order to have that new UI the exciting features of the one UI 3.0 is the wireless DeX capability uh, Samsung has implemented this to some devices with the one UI 2.5 as you can see right here but this is definitely coming to all Samsung phones that can run a one UI 3.0 and those phones who support DeX capability now we also have a brand new minimal battery mode that gives you a minimal setup it gives you a limited access to some applications in order to conserve battery consider it like a smarter power saving mode in addition to that Samsung has also implemented a brand new high performance mode now other than the Note 20 Ultra, all other Samsung phones with 120Hz display are not rocking LTPO which is basically the variable refresh rate. So with the Android 11 One UI 3.0, Samsung will be able to completely customize the way 120Hz and 60Hz mode switches uh, in different situations. So this is going to be much more intelligent thanks to the features that Google has built in with Android 11. So I definitely expect to see better battery life on the Galaxy S20 Ultra uh, when it gets fully updated to the official version. Other interesting features include the ability to have a custom call background. Uh, you can set any image, any wallpaper to it, which is pretty cool. There's also some new changes to the dynamic lock screen. Samsung has apparently added some categories, so now you'll have a much more wallpaper variety than before. So that is pretty much what is mainly changed with the Android 11 based One UI 3.0. As always, if you want to see every single detail, every single thing, uh, do check out the XDA article that is linked in the description and uh, definitely this update will come out pretty soon uh, public beta is right around the corner official update is probably uh, coming out very very soon as well I will be doing a full video then and probably doing some testing as well as well as some testing so be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, for that coverage